thought it'd be fun to share a couple of parade homes that I was able to tour. These are from the Utah Valley Parade of Homes and this one um, in Alpine was really stunning. Very modern, um, you can see by the kitchen. It's very, um, it's kind of got a lot of that warm wood with black and white tones. So that's obviously a trend we've been seeing for a while. I did love the soapstone countertops and then they use this natural stone um, in the dining room. And it was interesting because this dining room was like sort of almost formal. It was like a blend between like casual and formal. And then they had that slab backsplash that was pretty. And then this space was really interesting too with these black um, frame glass doors. It was like it was a study or media room right off the kitchen. Um, super unique. I wasn't sure if I like loved it or not. You guys will have to comment and see what you think. Um, I'm doing voiceover right now, by the way, because um, it was so loud in there that um, it was hard to hear what I was saying. So this built in with the slab inset was, was unique as well. And you can see they have a lot of these um, steel frame doors. And then this space was like a study that was really moody. Um, what was kind of cool was they did have off the front of this house like some porch areas. Um, I think I'll show it a little better later, but this is interesting too. So definitely like an office setup, um, which was right next to that media type room. So um, definitely more like rich tones in this space and then a lot of built-ins, tons of built-ins in there. And then they had a half bath um, with some funky floor tile. It felt very, uh, it reminded me of, what's that movie? Oh, The Great Gatsby. It kind of has that like vibe to it. It was a little more pattern than I like personally, but you know, interesting, I guess. And I did like the fluted detail on the cabinetry and then that extra thick um, stone countertop, but just it was really bold colors, so unique. And this was actually um, a peek in the guest house. Um, they had like a pool house that we'll, we'll show a little bit of footage from, but um, the bold colors and again like that tile on the floor was just a lot of pattern. Um, so um, kind of art deco style, not totally my vibe, but I can appreciate the uniqueness. Uh, these were some kids rooms. They had kind of some fun ideas, I thought, in here. And um, that bed is one I'll link for you. It's like a faux leather. I thought it was it was pretty against that like darker color. I did think this was really cool how they did just like this tile. They made a pattern essentially with kind of a, a simple tile. Uh, it was a, a good use of that, I thought. And then that slab top for the bench with this nat or, um, natural stone, the countertop, the soapstone. And there you can see that they carried that tile all the way behind the mirror. So kind of a fun space. Here's another um, like guest room. They did a ton of wallpaper as well and definitely like there was quite a bit of pattern and bold colors. So this was a cool homework room at the top of the stairs uh, that I think was really smart um, to plan for when it seemed like they had quite a few kids based on the rooms. And then the mud room was another space that um, had this white oak for the lockers and kind of like a nook where you could, you know, put your keys and all that stuff. This kid's bathroom had um, terrazzo floor, which was unique. And I'd never seen terrazzo with pink in it, but there were two like girls rooms and this was in between like a Jack and Jill bathroom. And so it was pretty like unique. They had fun hardware. And then this is a bed I'll link for you as well. I loved this, um, this bed and cute sconces, just um, some fun details to like the little hanging chair. I always love a, love a good hanging chair. Again, wallpaper. Um, I'm curious what you guys think about wallpaper. I, I like it in some applications, but I kind of am more like a use it sparingly type. Um, sometimes people use a lot. This um, family room I did love a lot. This was more like my vibe. Um, loved the stone. And then they had that modern floating um, hearth across the bottom there in that marble, the um, light fixture was really cool and then the wood detail on the ceiling and I loved the windows. I thought they did a good job just bringing in so much natural light and this had like a wraparound porch too that I'll have to show you um, because it was just, was cool and unique. Um, this was a guest room again with wallpaper. They had in the pool house um, two bedrooms up there and um, there's a bunk room as well, which was cool. And they had those beams in the ceiling 
um, in the vault. I love houses that have the ceiling lines actually follow your, you know, how the roof goes, like when it vaults up and stuff. The outdoor space was pretty cool in this house. They had um, like a fire pit area, a hot tub, a sport court, a big pool, um, and still some grass area. I felt like they laid it out pretty well and it was a good use of space. This is Alpine, Utah, so it's really, really beautiful by the mountains. Um, it's very prime real estate land there, super expensive. So um, this house, oh, I can't remember the price tag. I think it was, um, I'll have to, I'll put it on the screen for you, the cost of this one, but really, really pretty, I thought, for the outdoor space, and all those mature trees was pretty amazing to find. This was a, a bedroom that has a bed that is really cute, um, in the basement, actually, and they had in the stairwells this really fun, like, textured um, black wall. It was, um, of course, you go down the stairs to this workout room, which was pretty extensive. Um, Sorry, this footage is a little bit crazy because I was filming it for Instagram and my son had the camera. They had a funky um, painting in this like kids rec room, gym, basketball court. Everyone has a basketball court in Utah. <laughs> it's weird. Um, and then this uh, theater space had a really pretty molding, I thought. Again, kind of that art deco vibe. So a little different than like what I typically do. Here's here's a better look at the stairs. Like they had really modern stairs, pretty um, wood. And then they have like the steel and glass. Oh my gosh, that glass is like a nightmare with kids touching it. You could see even just that little piece. There was like fingerprints all over, but really modern. Um, in the primary suite, kind of cool like mantle with that um, stone and the bedroom is a cool color with some nice trim work, really pretty bed. Um, most I think I just got close-up footage there but you can kind of get a feel for the space and then the bathroom was very grand as well with the light fixture that really unique light fixture don't know if I love it uh, and then the huge shower I do love that that's really pretty and it's kind of cool because it was like a zero what's it called zero clear zero entrance I can't remember it doesn't have the curb like so there's no step up really well where you step up is from the floor um, floor up onto the tub and then it was like the same level for the shower oh I love this built-in too this was really cool I don't I don't love the backlighting, but I liked the steel frame door and then the all those drawers they had. And here's the closet, so it was pretty massive. Again, lots of the white oak and then um, natural stone too. Like this is the outside area. I thought those were cool planters built in uh, and it's kind of unique. That's the wraparound deck I was talking about. With um, And even the out outside of this house was very black, white, and natural wood tones. They had kind of a sitting area down there, an outdoor fireplace, some cool, like a water feature, some cool integrated landscaping I thought they did a good job with. And um, this is actually going up to the front porch. Um, you can see that natural stone. I want to say this one's called Antique Pearl. I think that's the name of that stone. And then I thought this uh, wood accent too on the top of the porch area was really pretty. So you can see that sitting area there's the one that's just outside that study and office space i don't know what that wire is hanging down but now i'm curious maybe for a security system i'll bet um okay so this view is um from the guest house you can kind of see where the pool is that kind of pool house and then this is walking back in so you get a little better view of the back of this house it was really in architecturally interesting and and i thought they did a good job mixing the materials as well they had a built-in grill a little outdoor kitchen area a lot of they there was a lot of um, shaded seating, which was nice over here, a little you know place where you could have a outdoor sectional and dining area. And this one is by Robison Home Builders. They do a really good job. Um, loved, love their work here. And anyway, so that's kind of the tour. Uh, I'll put the credits for those who worked on the house. And yeah, I thought this one was good. It had a lot of elements I really liked, some I didn't love, but overall I thought it was a pretty cool house. And it's just under 10,000 square feet. So there's that one and I'll probably share maybe one or two other um, homes that we walked through as well. Thank you guys for watching. I want to hear what you liked and didn't like on this tour. Let me know about your thoughts on um, what were we looking at, the wallpaper, the pattern tile, that sort of stuff. I'm curious what you guys think. And uh, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of future videos as well as the deals that we've got going on. I've started using the community tab more um, since they let me put links now and so you can actually get daily deals there and you know see what's on sale today so we'll see you next time <laughs>